Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and I'm back with another five minute card video. Today I'm going to be making a sunshine card. I started out cutting a white piece of cardstock with the stitch die from Master Layouts 2 and a black piece of cardstock from the plain die from Master Layouts 2. I also cut a one inch wide strip of Masking Magic. So to begin, I'm going to take this Masking Magic and I'm going to place it right across the bottom of this card. Now that will also help it stick to the piece of cardstock that I'm blending on here and it'll kind of keep everything in place. Then I'm going to use the Sunshine stencil and I'm going to place that with most of the sunshine showing, but a little bit going underneath that masking magic. And I wanna make sure that it's even on both sides. And I'm using a little bit of washi tape to just adhere that to this piece of scrap paper. Now, I'm going to use some sweet corn ink and a blending brush, and I'm gonna start with this yellow. I'm going to work my way around the center of the sun and then once I get done that, I'm still going right over that masking magic. Once I get done that, I'm gonna work my way out, getting a little bit lighter as I go out toward the edges of the rays. Just like that. Then for my next color, I'm going to use, I'm gonna do a little bit more over here. For my next color, I'm going to use some sweet mango. So I have the sweet mango ink here and an orange blending brush. And I just wanna deepen that color around the sun, just the ball of the sun. And that'll go up into the rays just a little bit and that's just fine. Okay, once I have that done, I'm going to remove the stencil and then I'm going to take that whole panel and I'm gonna put that inside my Misty. Now I've already loaded up a stamp from the Wild Blossoms stamp set. So this is a nice silhouette stamp. You can use any silhouette stamp you want. And I'm going to ink it up with some black onyx ink. I'm gonna use my chucky tool to make sure that I get good pressure, especially along the line of the masking magic. And that should look pretty good. All right. So now that that is done, I'm going to peel this masking magic off. And you can see I've got a nice border there. Now I've cut a 1 8 of an inch strip of black cardstock. I'm going to put a little bit of tape on that. And then I'm going to tape that right across that raw edge to kind of finish it off nicely there. And then I'm going to use some scissors just to cut the little extra off of each side. Okay. Then this whole panel is going to get adhered to a honey mustard card base. Actually, this whole panel is going to get adhered to this black panel that I cut. You guys know me by now. I have to put everything on black. It all has to get outlined really nicely. Okay. And then once that's in place, then I'm gonna put this whole panel onto my honey mustard card base. Then I'm going to finish this card off with one of the greetings from the Spring Tulip stamp set. This is one of my favorite greetings. It's your friendship means so much. And I'm gonna stamp that right in the center of that open space. And there is my finished card. That's a five minute card, maybe even less than five minutes, maybe four and a half. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's five minute card video and I hope you'll give this card a try. Stay tuned for more five minute card projects and live videos here on my channel. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.